So we've got a Lambs approved Ducati Monster M659 Bog stock standard uh, I'm just going to rev it up on the dyno See what it makes Then we're going to de-restrict it for racing purposes only And see what the go is How much horsepower we gain Here we go Right, so it's on the air bench. We're going to remove the restrictor, which is in here. Uh, firstly, you remove both of the cooling shrouds, one from each side. Remove the horn. Unbolt and lower the oil cooler down. Remove this frame rail. If you remove these panels, you can access the bike a lot easier to get to the hidden airbox screws. Move. Remove all the screws and the cover will come off and the throttle body is in here. There's the throttle body, throttle cable, spring, velocity stack. Just got to find that restrictor. You need to remove this throttle spring, lifting it and taking it off to the side. There's the throttle restrictor, the part with the red cross on it. Closed. Full throttle. That's the restrictor it's hitting. You need to disconnect this connector and the throttle sensor at the back. I've rotated the throttle body around, grab the cable, roll it out. Okay, a bit tricky with one hand, but basically you pop him out. Push the little spring tab in at the back. And the cable will come out. Then the throttle body will come out. Don't drop anything down that hole, obviously. Undo the hose clamp. Remove the velocity stack. Okay, so tapping on the outer edge of this bolt like this, you'll be able to drive the, the bolt around and it'll come out. So there's the bolt, there's the restrictor, and just make sure that you get the little nut that falls out the back of it because you don't want that dropping in your engine. See that little guy there? So make sure you get that fella. So these three pieces need to come out. Bolt, nut, restrictor, so then the throttle butterfly will open to full. Now you put it back on the reverse way we did it. Bolt on your velocity stack. When you put it on, this piece here, this casting lug, needs to line up with that casting lug in the intake manifold. So that little slot, they have to line up with each other. There it is at the back, it needs to look like this. Fit the outer throttle cable into the receiving slot and then fit the inner cable to this point. Now just check the operation of your throttle, which it goes a lot further. That restrictor not there. Refit the idle stepper motor connector and the throttle position sensor connector at the rear. Make sure you hear them both click in properly. Refit the throttle return spring, the tight coil goes to the bottom down here 
and the more open end goes back at the top. So once you've done up the lower clamp, the velocity stack up the top's tight, the two connectors are tight, the throttle cable's in and the spring is on correctly, the throttle should open and close perfect, and then you put the air filter box back on. Do up the 10 T20 torque screws. Bolt this frame stabiliser back on. Bolt the horn back on. Rebolt the oil cooler back on. And fit the airbox drain with the rubber tyres back to where it once was, back here. Refit the three bolts that hold this panel on, then fit your plastic frame cover. This side panel with three screws, refit your plastic frame cover with the three locking um, grommets. Let's put on the dyno, see what she makes. Okay, I'll put it back up on the dyno. So very decent gain there, for sure. Um, the torque also is a huge improvement, especially in the top end. So it'll be quite exciting to rod this bike now compared to what it was. Remember, this is for racing use only, or you know, if you're on the restricted license, you've got to stick to it. Don't do this unless you have a big license or you're doing track work or at the drags or whatnot. But that's a pretty good gain for a little bit of labor. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Cheers.